All right, so I am on day seven of my 30-day challenge, 20 minutes a day of practicing. I have done it, and uh, every day, I haven't missed a day yet, and it's only been seven days. Um, I just wanted to say a couple of things that, that I'm having to do to make this work, because um, I'm hoping this would be an encouragement to people that have really busy schedules. I had to, um, three days a week, I, I, I woke up at 4.45 in the morning just so I could do this because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do it later uh, in the day. And so I had to set my alarm, wake up earlier than I normally wanna wake up. And uh, I had, that's when I would do my practice. It is harder to practice in the morning for me. Uh, my fingers are cold, they haven't been moving. Uh, but in order for me to be able to get my 20 minutes in, I had to wake up earlier and it's worth it. I'm glad I did it. Uh, another thing is, is I started off at 80 beats per minute start off slow. Um, today I'm up at uh, 90 beats per minute. Feels good doing that. The other thing is that one of my exercises that I'm doing is called a sequential fourth. And then I'm also doing a, um, a triplet exercise, a sequence of threes. And all I'm doing in the sequential four is I'm taking a three note per string scale pattern and I'm going four notes ascending and then I go to the second note I play and ascend four more notes like that. So if I was saying the letter names, it would be G, A, B, C. Now, instead of going back to the G, I'm gonna to go to the A. A, B, C, D, and then go B, C, D, E. That's a sequential four. Three is like that, just with three. Um, but I was playing everything in C major. And so my pattern would be like this. And then I would move up to the next pattern and uh, so on and so forth all the way through the neck in the different patterns of C major. Well, you get really comfortable playing in the same key. And so I decided that um, one thing that I could add to this without adding any time, but could incorporate some music theory, um, and it's also good for my fingers, but is to switch keys. So I decided to play everything in G major today. And so the patterns are really the same patterns, just different places on the neck, but it requires you to think about it as you're going through your pattern. So anyways, that's been helpful for me and um, challenging as well, because you get stuck in playing the same key when you're doing your exercises. Well, change keys. Um, it's really good for you to think through those things and be playing at the same time. Anyways, I hope, uh, I hope you're enjoying this 30-day challenge. And uh, if you haven't started it, please start it. It will make um, your guitar playing improve.